Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use an FTP client on Windows and or Mac to copy files to and from a remote FTP server. And in this case, we're gonna be using a program called CyberDuck. There is also other programs that you can use that are very, very similar to CyberDuck. We got um, uh, WinSCP, which is Windows only, and we have FileZilla, which I think is good for both Windows and Mac operating systems. Um, so no matter what operating system you're on, this tutorial should work, uh, but in this case, we're gonna be using CyberDuck. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. And I'm gonna go through the process of downloading CyberDuck with you. So it's at cyberduck.io. You can click on download for Mac OS here. And you'll see here that um, if you're on Windows, you can get this one. We're gonna get the executable from Mac, which is in a zip file. So that is finished downloading. Let's open that up. And we don't need uh, this anymore. So let's get out of here. So our this is what was downloaded. This is what was extracted. This is CyberDuck application. You can, you can put this wherever you want on your computer, uh, probably if you're on Mac in the applications directory, but I'm just gonna execute it right from here. Um, and when that opens up, we can go ahead and connect to our FTP server, which by the way, I'm assuming that you um, have access to an FTP server, you have credentials, all that stuff. My access is through DreamHost. Um, and what we're gonna actually be doing is uh, this directory here, this website directory, we're gonna copy all of these files up to the FTP server, which is corresponding to tonyflorida.me and at this point there is no website hosted here the goal is to copy those files those website files up here uh, so that we can host a website at this domain name so let's minimize this for now we don't need that yet uh, what like i said what we want to do first is connect to our ftp server um, so we can do that by clicking on this plus sign down here to make a new connection and we can fill out this information. So if you're using FTP, you can choose FTP. If you're using SFTP, you can choose SFTP. Either case, um, doesn't matter. I mean, it does. Uh, so the difference between the two is FTP is unencrypted, meaning people can see the files potentially uh, from between your local host and your remote server. Um, whereas SFTP is, um, secure that's encrypted nobody can read the data but just for the sake of demonstration i'm going to keep the default here okay so this is where we fill out the information so my server as we saw was tonyflorida.me port 21 is the default port for ftp so i don't have to change that but you might have to change that depending on whatever your ftp server is my username is lemon aid spelled like that and my password is um my well, my, well, my password is my strong PW exclamation point. Doesn't really matter because uh, I'm going to remove this account after this video. Okay, so that looks good. Um, if you want to give it a nickname or a label, you can. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Um, it's kind of weird, but it does save that information here. And in order to connect to the FTP server, you just double click on this row right here. And it's just saying this is unsecure like we talked about. For demonstration, this is okay. We'll click on connect. And I think it'll prompt us for the password again, yes. So let me type that in. And it's gonna log us in and here we go. So now we are looking at the remote uh, FTP server, the contents of that file system. And you'll see here that, like I was talking about, this is the root of my website, tonyflorida.me. So let's go ahead and go into that directory. And at this point, there is no HTML, CSS, JavaScript files. The goal is to copy those up here. And it's super, super easy with CyberDuck and these FTP clients. All we really have to do is open um, this directory, whatever you wanna copy, and highlight them and drag them into here. Um, so let's do that. Let's copy these files directly up to the FTP server. And you'll see down here again, we get that uh, that prompt. So let's not, let's not show us that again, that it's unsecured. Um, and what this is gonna do is recursively go through all these files and folders and copy those up to the remote FTP server. And it, it looks like it's gonna take, you know, at most 10 seconds to do that. Um, so that's that's how we copy files up. And in the reverse, let's say we wanted to do something with these fav icons, we can either um, right click, you know, we can right click and download the file and that's gonna download that file for us. Uh, actually, please verify disk permissions. Okay, I'm not sure about that, but 
let's uh, let's copy files directly using drag and drop method onto our desktop and that should work. I think it was just complaining about whatever my current working directory is on my local file system. Anyway, very easy to do uh, uploads and downloads. Um, at this point, let's see if our website is up and running. So let's refresh this page now that we have those website files up there and it is. So now we can see uh, what that looks like. And the really cool thing about these FTP client software that you run locally on your computer is the fact that we can open this file and edit it directly. So uh, in order to do that, like, so let's, let's get a good look. Let's change this from Tony teaches tech um, to something else. We'll change it. We'll figure out what we want to change it to uh, at that point. So let's um let's edit our index file here, and we can right click on it, edit with. Uh, you can pick your text editor. Sublime Text is my preference here, and that opens the index.html file here. And let's change the. Um, I think it's part of the header. No, it's this one right here, the, the banner at the top here. Tony teaches tech. Let's change that to, like it kind of says down there, like, comment, and subscribe, right? So uh, we can save that, control S for saving, get out of here, and that actually cha uh, makes those changes directly up to the FTP server. So if we go back here and refresh this, we see like, comment, and subscribe. So really easy to make changes when you're connected to your FTP server. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video. So if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, please consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.